your attention. Because you're so young and you can do so cool mathematical equations. It's so cool. How old are you? Ten. How, how did you learn that? I mean, mathematics, it's kind of easy for me. Yeah? Today I'm in the middle of Times Square solving a mathematics problem. So today we're going to be taking the derivative of y equals sine of x. So, of course, by the limit definition, f prime of x, the limit of is h equal to zero is going to be sine of x plus h minus sine of x over h. So now, it's actually pretty good to know that sine of two angles, sine of x plus h, is going to be equal to sine of x times cosine of h plus of the sine of h times cosine of x. Let me write that. Cosine of x minus sine of x over h. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to take both of the terms with sine of x. So sine of x, cosine of h, minus sine of x, plus sine of h, cosine of x. And that's all divided by h. So now, we're going to split this into two separate fractions. So sine of x, we're going to factor it by negative. 1 minus cosine of h. And then plus sine of h cosine of x. But we're going to make these two different fractions. So this is divided by h, that is divided by h. So plus. So now, we're going to take the limit of these two subways. Taking the limit of this is pretty easy because this gives you this part, taking the derivative of this part, gives you zero. So this entire part is set to zero. And then you have sine of an eight and cosine of x over eight, which is the same thing as cosine of x times sine of eight over eight. And taking the derivative of sine of eight over eight as eight approaches zero, going to be one. So you get f prime of x, cosine of x times one, so cosine of x. That's it.